Welcome, fellow citizens of the Imperium. Today, I will explore the history and culture of one of the most fanatical and loyal regiments of the Imperial Guard, the Death Corps of Krieg. Grab your coffee, sit by the fireplace, and accompany me in this story of courage, loyalty, and glory. The Death Corps of Krieg are the descendants of a once prosperous and peaceful world called Krieg, located in the Segmentum Tempestus. Krieg was a hive world, a planet covered by massive urban sprawls and industrial complexes, where billions of people lived and worked for the glory of the Imperium of Man. But in the year 433 of the 40th millennium, Krieg was plunged into a civil war when a faction of rebels led by the planetary governor declared independence from the Imperium and renounced the worship of the god Emperor. The rebels seized control of most of the planet's hives and resources and prepared to defend themselves from the loyalist forces. The loyalists, however, were not willing to give up their world without a fight. They gathered all the remaining loyal regiments of the Imperial Guard and launched a desperate counterattack against the rebels. But they soon realized that they were outnumbered and outgunned, and that the rebels had fortified their positions with powerful defenses and weapons of mass destruction. Faced with this hopeless situation, the loyalist commander, Colonel Jerton, made a radical decision. He ordered his men to unleash a nuclear holocaust upon their own world, hoping to break the rebels' defenses and purge the traitors from the face of the planet. He also vowed that he and his men would never surrender and that they would fight and die for the Emperor until the last man. The nuclear bombardment turned Krieg into a hellish wasteland where the sky was darkened by ash and dust and the air was poisoned by radiation and chemical agents. The loyalists and the rebels continued to fight in the ruins of their world, digging trenches and bunkers and launching brutal assaults and counter-assaults. The war became a war of attrition where neither side could gain any significant advantage and where millions of lives were lost every day. The war lasted for 500 years until the year 433 of the 41st millennium, when the Loyalists finally emerged victorious. They had managed to eradicate the last pockets of resistance and to reclaim their world for the Imperium. But the cost was enormous. Krieg was a dead world where nothing could grow or live and where the survivors had to wear protective suits and respirators to survive. The loyalists had also changed. They had become a grim, fatalistic and dour people who had lost any sense of individuality, emotion or joy. They had become the death cause of Krieg. The Death Corps of Krieg are a siege specialist regiment of the Imperial Guard who specialize in trench warfare, siege warfare, and warfare in hostile environments. They are known for their fanatical devotion to the Emperor, their disregard for their own lives, and their willingness to accept any deployment, no matter how dangerous or hopeless. They seek to atone for their world's past treachery by offering their lives as a sacrifice to the Imperium. The Death Corps of Krieg are easily recognizable by their distinctive uniforms and equipment, which are reminiscent of the soldiers of the First World War. They wear long coats, gas masks and helmets, and carry laser guns, bayonets and grenades. They also make use of heavy weapons, such as mortars, artillery, and flamethrowers, as well as armored vehicles, such as tanks, transports, and siege drills. They rarely use aircraft or drop troops, preferring to fight on the ground, where they can dig in and hold their positions. The Death Corps of Krieg are not a single regiment, but a collection of regiments, each with its own number and designation. They are raised from the population of Krieg, 
who are subjected to a harsh and rigorous training regime and indoctrinated with the imperial creed and the cult of sacrifice. The Death Corps of Krieg do not have names, but are identified by their regimental number and a serial number. They do not have families, friends or personal belongings, but only their duty to the Emperor and their comrades. They do not have emotions such as fear, anger or pity, but only a cold and grim determination to complete their mission. The Death Corps of Krieg are respected and feared by their allies and enemies alike for their courage, discipline and efficiency. They have fought in some of the most brutal and bloody wars of the Imperium, such as the Siege of Rex, the Third War for Armageddon and the Fall of Cadia. They have faced some of the most formidable foes of the Imperium, such as the Orcs, the Chaos Space Marines and the Tyranids. They have never retreated, surrendered, or disobeyed an order, and they have never failed to achieve their objective, even if it meant their own annihilation. The Death Corps of Krieg are the ultimate soldiers of the Imperium who embody the grim and dark nature of the Warhammer 40,000 universe. They are the Death Corps of Krieg, and they shall know no fear. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more stories from the Warhammer 40k universe. Thank you for watching and may the Emperor protect you.